for here nerding out. I just want to let you know in advance that I got we got mad you know, shit because we talk, were talking yeah. about you. You got to you calm down mad fast. Want me to bring it down a notch? You might. It looks like you might have snorted a little. <laughs> well, yeah. you saw the inside of the cover. <laughs> yeah, we got white. Nah, yo, they got, got that white inside the cover. That that girl. Girl. Listening to all that be crazy. I'm in my first Met Rizza. Yeah, I told I tell you the story. I was in Nico. It used to be called the Nico in L.A. Yeah, hell yeah. I was in the weight room. Nigga kicked the door. Boof. He just came in like this. Dude. He's going, <laughs> oh, uh, like, yo, wait, karate move. Yo, yo, he kicked. He came in and kicked the door open, like literally. And then did some more kicks, and then more kicks. Just kept going, doing power moves. Like, I was like, yo, these niggas is really ninjas. Like, yo, and I was young. It's like, yo, nice to meet you. And he was talking really like that. Yeah. Where is it? Where? Was this when you were first on? When we first was, yeah, we was with Bad Boy and all that, and he was just came in there doing some kung fu shit. Mad weights around, he ain't touch none of them. Just yeah, kicking in the head and all that. I said, oh, Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. Where? Yo, I just realized the connection that in, in hip-hop lore there would be between rap beef and you guys. <laughs> that you guys were on that talking about Biggie, <coughs> right. Biggie biting off a of Nas, mm-hmm. and you were... Biggie's camp, you know, this is a rough, roughly the same, roughly the same period. Yeah. Did Ghost? Did you and Biggie ever have any conversations after that period? <coughs> nah, it was before before that shit happened in L.A. You know, I got a chance to really to see him one night. I think it might have been at one of Brandy's party or something like that. But I came through the door. You know what I mean? Me and Cat. You know what I mean? Whatever. But. He was standing over there. I think it might have been him and C's or somebody else. You know what I mean? So we walk. I had to walk past him or whatever. I mean, I seen him mad times after that shit. But this is, you know, it was like, you know, I started coming. You know, I started like, yo, what the fuck is, you know, I like this nigga shit. You know what I mean? But it was just that when I when I when I was making that CD, that Cuban Link shit and the shit I was just saying, yo, I was, I was wild, b. I was really really wild. I was just, I was, just, I don't give a fuck. What it was, you know what I mean? I'm just doing whatever, 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 whatever. You know what I mean? Big ain't never did nothing to me or whatever the case may be. I was just throwing whatever, I, how I felt at the time. But when I seen them, you know what I mean? We we seen each other and it was like, <laughs> yo, we didn't really say too much, but we just shook, you know, shook hands, you know what I mean? It One of them hugs and shit like that, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I wanted to make music with them. You know what I mean? But that handshake was like the beginning to maybe it might could, I could do something with this man. Well, was it that bad though? No, it wasn't really, you know. But, but I can understand it. When I look at it, but I when I, no, I ain't say the name, but you know. Yeah, niggas you know, know, but yeah, you know what I mean. So it's it's like that, you know what I mean. So he ain't stupid, you know yeah. what I so mean. You, so you, so it sounds like you still felt felt somewhat bad about. It. You felt like you went a little. Of course, too- and then when he got murdered, it's like yo, that shit hurt me, b. You know what I mean? Because a lot of New York niggas is pussy, b. And I'm gonna tell you why. A lot of niggas, man, we stayed out there, B, when that shit happened. And them niggas couldn't even believe, like, yo, y'all still out here? We, we got work to do, nigga. We ain't going to no motherfucking place. You got an album to finish, you know what I mean? But I, I seen, you know what I mean, a lot of New York niggas, man. Left, it, right? Yo, they just was on some pune shit, man. And, and I'm just going to say that, man. You know what I mean? Niggas was really actually scared to death. Whoever was out there around that time with Big got killed, man, niggas know, niggas know. Were you, was that when you guys had, um... They had, like, a mansion. It was the, wasn't the mansion forever? here or was the mansion in L.A.? No, they were... They was we was out there. Forever out there, right? The yeah, we did forever out there. Yeah, we did forever. it was like forever. a Wu-Tang house that everyone yeah, was in, Yeah, we was right? in there. Yeah, we was in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was in there. Yeah, we was in there, B. <laughs> were you... Was, were you was sad. I said this... I said this to Rizza. Were you, um... Were you surprised at all that the Wu-Tang thing went off the way it did? Like, did you know it was going to become a way of life that people would tattoo on their bodies? I didn't know that. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, though. I knew we was coming to crush heads. I'll tell you that. You know what I mean? Because who was, who was, who was, who was, who was, uh, yeah, we was coming after the, uh, you know, not on no real, like, yo, we gonna kill us, nigga, but his squad. You know what I mean? We sized them, you know, they had red men. They had a powerful they team. Were, they was powerful team. You know what I mean? They had a powerful, they had red men. Keep you know hurt. what I mean? Murray. K Solo and them niggas, and they had they had a team team, but we know okay it's like six of them, and it's like nine of us, you know what I mean? But I had faith in all my niggas too, like yo, we could get ahead and get in, you know what I mean? So, but it just so happened when we really when we came in when we came in, it was like you know I guess you know how things happen with crews, they started like you know what I mean like I guess whatever whatever whatever, but I did know, but I didn't know that the impact was gonna be. The way it, way it is, uh, like yeah, right I, now, with everybody tattooed up, 
You know, what and I mean? it's still and, like that. No, it's, it's getting, twenty. It's getting uh, worse. Yeah. It's getting worse because I seen like a, like I told you yesterday. I seen like eleven and nine year olds coming to the yeah, show Wu, now. Wu Tang is like, and it's like they're the, the Beatles. Beatles. Now you guys like the yeah. Beatles. Yeah, like, your, your, your older brother, your uncle's gonna give you the Wu. Like he's gonna be like me. Y'all listening to all this weird music? Let me teach you about this. Right, and, right. And you're slide. like so. It's like Led Zeppelin or the Beatles. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're that shit that kids when they get into music. Right. If someone could tell a kids into music, they go, Oh, you like hip hop. You need to check this out. Right. So then you're always gonna have young right. fans. Be up big right. time. We be doing tours. Them, they yeah. be up, say. Right. For sure. For real. Yeah. Man. It's like you know, and it's more worse overseas. I'm sure. It's worse yeah, overseas. Crazy. Here, it's okay. You know what I mean? New York's in, probably in, the lightest. People probably yeah, are the most casual yep, in New yeah, York. Yeah. New York is the lightest. New York is the is the lightest. You know what I mean? But overseas, when you hit <coughs> Dublin and all the mother motherfuckers over there, it's like yo, man. It's like a. It's almost like a cult. Is, you know what I mean? Is, like I because they dying with that tattoo, and that's how I looked at it. And I'm like, God, what did you know? Like, like, I, I, you know, I just realized the other day I was part of a group. <laughs> it's like, yo, I'm in uh. the group and shit. Like, you know, it just sounded kind of funny to me. Like, oh shit, yo, so you was in that group? You know what I mean? And it's like these niggas when they they getting buried with that W on. Right. Do you have a Wu tattoo? Yeah, do you have a Wu tattoo? I don't got no tattoos. You see, that's crazy. You don't even have one. I don't well, got first of all, it's funny that you have no tattoos, one. period. That's not right. common in hip hop to yeah. have no tattoos, period. It's you like, got, yo, you have tats? A thousand of them. You have a thousand, right? Yeah. I never wanted, I mean, I thought about a while ago, you know what I mean? Of getting it. This was years ago, though. You know what I mean? Just on, you know, a little something, probably kids on your arm or something. But then it was like, nah, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm, as time went on, it's like, yo, I'm not getting none of that shit. I ain't getting none of that shit, yo. You never you thought about mean? it, like when Dirty Pass or anything like that, people's names or things like that? A lot of times that's what gets. Yeah, but it's like, you know, um, I'm a Muslim, man. You know what I mean? And really, I ain't supposed to be doing that like that anyway, like writing on yourself and shit. So it's like, you know, I just, I just said, you know what, man, I'm going I'm, to I'm just go as it is and shit. I respect you know it. What I mean? Yeah. So if you need to get a tattoo? Uh, I, I've been, I've been trying to figure out. No, no, no. Yeah, Wu-Tang. Yeah. Wu-Tang's yeah. for the I'm children. I'm trying to figure out for the longest what to get. I never know what to get. So yeah, nah, Until like you know. You didn't get that, right? Nah, I'm in the Yo, man, you good then. You know what I mean? You may be too yeah, old to get the first You're supposed to be like everybody else, man. You know what I mean? We always say these days. You got a tattoo? No. These days, not having a tattoo is the new tattoo. Because like right. when you were getting tattoos, it was cool to get tattoos still. Cats right. were getting, yeah, yeah, now yeah. it's like it's a given you have yeah, cats have tattoos. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's rare to meet someone who doesn't have a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's your favorite? What's, sorry. Go no, ahead. go. No, yeah. your, your favorite, like, ghost <coughs> album of your album. Mm. Could you even pick? Maybe, uh, maybe, um, it depends. It, but it's like, uh, I mean, the most fun album. I did with Supreme Clientele. Yeah, recording it? Yeah, recording it. Recording it. I had we, fun we, doing Rizzo it. We said the same thing. Yeah, we had fun. We said the same we thing. We had fun. We just had fun. And that's how I know sometimes a lot of your albums depend on the vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? The vibe of shit. It's like, you know what I mean? Because at that time, it was, just, it was just fun. You know what I mean? You know, Iron Man, it was like, all right, we coming off of the Raised Cuban Link. You know what I mean? Found out I was a diabetic. I was going through things. Right. You know what I mean? It was kind of Iron Man's kind of dark a little yeah, bit. It is. It is dark. It is dark you know yeah. what I mean? It's kind of dark. Supreme Clientele. You like, know what I mean? A little bit more colorful. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Wallets came. You know what I'm saying? He's in Florida. All right, it was a. It was a good album. They just took two good songs off. Mm. You know what I mean? That was the son with Slick Rick and the watch. So this, you got you have the bootleg, right, Ty? You know what I mean? I have the white label. Don't the worry, they still Slick sent out Rick the Epic. The crazy watch. thing is Epic still sent out the white label of the yeah, original album to right. DJs. Yeah. They just couldn't sell it. Oh, okay. But the son was Yeah, yeah, Slick Rick and the watch. But you know, but 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 the one I really appreciate probably the most as far as writing might have been the R&B joint. What's Love it. R&B? Yeah. The R&B. That was it. That was it. That was it. That's a different you know I mean? vibe, though. Like, yeah, it's, like, it, people didn't get it. People didn't get it. Def Jam ain't get it. No, Def Jam. Shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, yo, y'all complained on my last joint about singles. Like, yo, there's no singles. But then when I gave y'all like 16 singles, and y'all still fuck it up. I know. And we and Baby you know took I mean? here. Baby did pretty good for us. Right. Right. We played Baby a lot. It started ringing. I don't know though. You know what I mean? But the other one with Raheem was crazy because too. Because it's like, yeah, this I is the like story of the play. Yeah, yeah. That's that like, one I like. Think about that record, man. if you think about like all the early Wu stuff and Ghostface stuff, like they sampling like Al Green and mm -hmm. all the soul music, which was R and B at that era. Right. You know what I'm saying? So because some rap fans don't understand how R and B connects with hip hop, but all those beats that you sampled. 
is technically R and B. Yeah. Like Cream. Right. Yeah. That's an old sixties or seventies R and B record. So then then you gonna make that. I was like, ah, he's going back to like the roots. Like, but some fans just they just want raps. And I'm like, you gotta understand soul. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. you gotta feel the singing. But it's not just that, it's all and it's also the energy of it. The grown manness of the album, of the content on the album. Right. You know, even the single baby, it's about having a baby. It's mm -hmm. a different right. it's a different place. And right. I guess a lot of people weren't ready for it, but I thought it was incredible. Hold on, but also don't yeah. sleep. Fish scale was fucking awesome too. I mean You're not into it? It was it was it was all right when I look at it. See now I look at my, my sister and I just be looking at where I i I'm a, I'm my worst critic anyway. But I look at I look at it and be like, okay, I shouldn't have did it like this or or these songs right here. I could have I could have dealt without those, you know what I mean? Because I'm thinking like you got to do put 18 on it, you know what I mean? Right. 18 and tracks. You don't. So you yeah, you know, you know, like because sometimes you could just do 10. You know, good. fat ones. That's it. And you just murdered it. Like this is like a hit to the face, you know what I mean? And you killed it, you know what I mean? So I I'm learning as I'm really learning now. Right yeah. now, I'm really learning. You know what I mean? Like I'm really I'm really on my game. Like I really looked at this game and seen like yo what it really is now. Well, well, one of my favorite things to do is to tell my favorite artists of all time, who I think are virtually perfect artists, the one thing in their career that they did that I didn't like. Right. It's always my favorite thing to do. There's only one Ghostface Killer song that okay. at the time, and I, I'd have to go back now because maybe I'd be different, but at the time, yeah. got the skip -a -roo. Do you know <coughs> yeah. what, can you guess what it was? Your Ghostface skip -a -roo? Yes, my Ghostface Skipper. That when it came out, I was like, ah, oh, can't do it. Is it because it's a little softer? It's soft. It's, it's a little softer. Yeah, it's got know. a feature that's interesting. No, I don't know. Oh, Tush. You knew oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tush. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my skipper. I couldn't do it. <laughs> yo, yeah. <laughs> of course yo, you did. Yo, yo. Yo, that's why it's I was for you. Why, yo, you, you know what? Because, because you know what it was? It like uh -huh. <laughs> I was trying to see. Because, listen, I'll take a chance. You, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I'll take a chance to see what might, you know what I mean? Because you never know. Because the game was funny, man. And, and it's like, yo. All right, when you give them this, and then they falling for this bullshit over here, and it's like, damn, man, you know what I mean? So I was just like, yo, you know, like I, and that was around Pretty Tony album, yep, and and you know, <laughs> you know, and that's t around the time when I started smoking weed too. You Stop know what I'm saying? Started. Stop. Oh, you stopped smoking. Yeah, yo. So I, it took me like 18 months to do that fucking album. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I was blasted, B. Oh I wasted a lot of money on that shit, yo. Def Jam was mad as a motherfucker. Because you stopped smoking? No, because I, w I wasn't going to studio, yo. It was like I was, the weed started getting to me at that time. I'm second guessing everything I'm doing. I'm doing 100 takes, you know what I mean? And I, I catch a line, and then I, I, I got another, I got the next line, but then I can't remember what the fuck I wanted to say, so I'm stuck. But, uh, but I got studio time at 3 o'clock, and I'm not getting there until like 10. Mm. You know what I mean? Then when I get there, I just feel like I can't do it. And I tell her, I, I, I'll come back tomorrow. And I did that for like six months straight, yo. Damn, damn. She was like $2,500 a day. Mm. Why? But I don't understand why. If you'd always been smoking weed, what started going wrong with the weed? I don't know. I I don't know. It just turned I, on it, you. It just it just yeah it just it just <laughs> it turned on. No, you. because you got. I think I don't know what it is, but I think I was. I think my brain cells was just fried. <laughs> it was fried, and I'm and I'm fucking. I'm down there with a dude that's smoking like ten a day, of of real crystal shit. So you know what I mean. So I think I was just fried, and then and then you know. My younger days, I was, I was I was doing mescalins and a lot of dust. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking all that <laughs> shit was like, yo, nah, man. It adds up, go. It, yeah, man, let's up. be honest. Go. It probably did add up. Nah, 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 nah. And that's why I said, you know what, man? And I was scared to do it, too. Like, to to, to like, yo, it's gonna, I'm, I'm going to write this shit now. I don't know what the fuck to do. I thought it was gonna fuck me up, yo. And I just said, fuck it, man. I got, it's for me, I got to just I gotta just do you do, do it, though. But yeah, that tush joint. That tush joint, I just try to fuck around and just Let me see try if it to works. get in somewhere. 